Hi, everyone. Welcome to this interview. I'm really excited to be with Tad Hargrave. Um, if you know what, you know, if you've been following my work for a little while, you know that I, I love to interview Tad. And we've got, you know, I've, I've got several interviews with him uh, on, on my channel. And uh, today, what we're going to talk about is um, how to launch things well. Um, I know a lot of you are you know, you, you have like group programs you want to launch or, or courses or live events uh, or, you know, kind of coaching or consulting type things, uh, you know, retreats, whether it's virtual or, or in person. Um, launching is one of those really, really key skills <laughs> that you need to develop if you're going to have a, you know, viable and thriving business. And Tad has even more experienced than me in launching things. And uh, I'm grateful to be able to bring him here. We will pick his brain for a little bit on the stuff. Um, Tad also has an upcoming course about launching stuff. So this is kind of a preview into some of the stuff that he's going to be talking about with his um, co-teacher, Bradley Morris. Some of you know Bradley as well. Anyway, let me just stop talking for a sec, Tad, because I want to bring your voice on. Thank you so much for, for, for doing this. Thank you so much. Yeah, I know we, we've only got about 20 minutes, so let's see yeah. how much we can fit in. Totally, totally. Right. So if you're watching this and you've got a course, a, a membership, a program, a, a something significant enough that you can't just, you know, send out one email and it's full, or that is not an evergreen, just available all the time uh, type thing, or something that may need an injection, a boost uh, on a regular basis then uh, these ideas are for you. And so launching is basically the art of putting something out into the world. How do you, how do you, you get it out there? The very first thing I'd say is if you don't have to do a launch, don't. It's so exhausting. If there's a way you could do it without a big launch, you know, <laughs> did a video recently. It's like, how much time and energy, money should I spend on marketing? My answer was as little as possible, as much as needed, but as little as you humanly can. And so launching is, I would just say, on the larger end. And so if there's a way you can do it simpler uh, or just through word of mouth or through reputation, or if it's going to fill up anyways, great, you don't need this. But let's say you have a goal to hit numbers you've never hit before. Um, you're pretty sure your own email list won't do it through just a few emails. This is These are some thoughts on that. And... Um, the, the error that I see, and just maybe if, you, again, if you're watching this to just see if you can see yourself in this, it's three weeks before an event, a program, a course, something you're launching. The numbers are nowhere near what you need uh, to proceed. Now, you know there's gonna be a last minute uh, rush, you hope, but you've only got two people or one or none signed up. And there's this question then of what do I do? It's three weeks out. And for some people, they decide, I'm going to cancel it. Okay, and I'll do it later. But the later one, they find themselves in the same position. Uh, I remember I went to Hollyhock Retreat Center in, uh, in BC. It was leading a workshop, and I went to apologize because I only got 12 people for the, uh, for my, it was a five day workshop. I said, Oh, it's okay. And first of all, Hollyhock, just for content, this is so hard to get to. I mean, it's a full day journey to get to from from Vancouver uh, and uh, so it's just it's a slog to get people to sign up it's a real destination thing so I got 12 people and he said no it's fine and he went through the catalog and he said yeah these people went ahead without the minimum this one went ahead without the minimum this one canceled this one canceled that one went ahead with that. almost none of them yeah, almost all of them didn't even hit the targets and so this happens a lot I see for people and if you cancel all the time, you get this reputation as being flaky and people just stop trusting your, you know, it's like, sure it's gonna happen. And then if you go ahead without the minimum, it's not the full robust experience. It could have been for the participants if there'd been more people in it and, and you don't make the money. Anyways, I just see this where it's a constant, every, they're so behind, they never get caught up. The, and so the promotion, everything's so last minute by the skin of their teeth and they you know there's a lot of personal outreach and desperate last minute facebook posts and uh, a, a barrage of emails at the end 
And of course, the consequence of this is it leads to a lot of unsubscribes. It le leads to people being burned out with the requests. So this is one of the challenges. I mean, if you think of launching like a rocket launch, a lot of fuel gets burned. And the things that get burned in a, in a launch like we're talking about, when you get burned out, that's one, because it's it can be exhausting. But two, your list can get burned out. And they just pay less attention to your emails now because, oh, everything's a, a scramble. Everything's a last minute promotion. So yeah, so I mean, I suppose this is the thing what Bradley and I are gonna deal with, but I'd love to share some thoughts, some nuggets on this here. Yeah, man, this is really good. Um, it, it is interesting when you say, if you don't have to launch, don't do it. <laughs> um, but if, if you need to launch, if you want to fill, if you wanna reach higher numbers than you have before, this is the kind of process that you you and Bradley are going to be talking about in, in the course. And it's interesting because I was thinking about, you know what, I, I haven't really launched anything in years. <laughs> like the way I do it is like, I mean, talk about marketing for hippies. I mean, the way I do it is like two emails, <laughs> two gentle emails, two a Facebook event page, uh, two gentle Facebook posts that are boosted for reach. But, but yeah, man, um, it's, it's, really uh it's it's i guess i'm kind of spoiled by this point but so i'm but i but you have actually recently i should mention the reason i think one of the reasons why you're so qualified to talk about this is you recently did a very full launch and it went really really well do you want to just just yeah. give us a, a one minute summary of that well and it's interesting because it's connected directly to the thing you said so yes i launched my membership program uh we got 150 people on the initial launch and then i did a, open it up to monthly and numbers. that's just just to say that's enrollments that's actually paid enrollments <laughs> they're, they're li right, yeah. lifetime members yeah on average they paid let's say 670 bucks uh and then i got another 100 at the monthly level uh, 85 of those were at the $25 a month level and then 15 or so were at the $100 a month level. And so, yeah, this is for the, the membership. And so I made about 120 grand in terms of gross uh, on that launch, which is more than I've ever made in a, a month before. Yeah, so, my goodness. And the, 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 it's almost like if you did that, you're set for the rest of the year <laughs> you know, kind of thing. Yes, um, it's true. That's as much as I've made in one launch is in so that's possible if you do a good launch. You can make as much in one launch as you did in the last year. That's not an inconceivable thought. Um, and but it, so launching for membership, of course, you're in a similar situation. It's a much more sustainable business model because because of that model of having membership, I don't need to do the launches to my list every time I do one of my quarterly 30-day events. I don't have to do that launch because it's mostly because it's only going to be for members moving forward. And I had to do a launch to fill that membership. That took a very thoughtful launch. And there may be things, you, you may not be in a position, you know, if you're watching this, to, to do a membership, or that may not feel like the right model. So this is for you. So here's the most important thing I can say about launching. Number one, give yourself enough time. Um, so first of all, I mean, start this thinking about this a year, six months in advance. This is not a, the month before start thinking about it. You plan it out six months in advance. And I did a video recently called the four rules of time, but just to give the Coles notes of it, four rules of time. Uh, see if I can remember them. Number one is the rule of uh, one hour. The rule of one hour is uh, if in the period uh, leading up to it, uh, let's say two months before, one hour a day working on the launch. Literally put it in your calendar, put it in your schedule. The second one is a rule of two months. In the two months before and the two months after, you're not promoting anything else. This is all you're promoting. There's not another program, another thing. You know, if you have other things you want to offer before or after that window, but in that two months, two months, it's only this thing. Just so you don't overwhelm or confuse your people. Number three would be the rule of uh, one week. And the rule of our two weeks rather, I think is basically the week before and the week after, clear the decks. Just don't have much else going on in your life except this. And then there's the rule of uh, two days, which is the day before and the day after the launch, just literally zero else. Everything is canceled. Um, because why? Glitches will happen. 
there will be last minute mayhem, almost guaranteed of some technical nature for which you are unqualified. So it's, uh, if you have a, a big important dinner the night of your lunch, or you've got uh, calls with clients that day, it's just an awful setup. So that's the most important thing I can say is that number two, have a plan. You've got to create a plan for this. Most people have no plan. This is the thing I've seen. And this is what we're, I guess, going to be going into in the day with Brad, helping people craft this plan. But even just the thought of having a plan, when I, I've asked people, so yeah, you know, raise your hand if you have a plan for your, and just no hands get raised. What that means is uh, I'm going to do a bunch of stuff and hope something happens. I'm going to throw some spaghetti at a wall and hope that something sticks and there won't be any pattern to it. But there, you can think this through. And as soon as you start to think it through, it becomes very obvious the general flow, what should go, you know, first and second. And so, for example, a general flow of this, I mean, Jeff Walker has his sort of, you know, layout, but um, generally it might be something like this. The very first part of it, you need to make the case for, you need to say, well, there, here's what's coming. Here's what it is that I'm doing, or here's the topic. So if I was doing the hub marketing, the first email would probably just be, what is hub marketing? What the hell am I talking about? The second email could be, here's why it matters. The third email might be, here's some real life examples and case studies of, of hub marketing. You know, uh, The fourth email might be, here's some um, uh, blunders and mistakes that people make, the common uh, errors in hub marketing. Uh, and then the fifth one might be, hey, join me for a call about hub marketing, or let me do a hot seat for, you know, there's a number of things. Uh, there's a general logical flow to a launch of you're making the case, not for them to buy from you initially, you're making the case for this. It's like, look, whether you sign up for my hub marketing 30 day or not, take hub marketing seriously. And let me give you a lot of value. And so I guess that's number three is when you're doing a launch, it's, you know, uh, Jay Abraham, who you and I both know, one of the, the, the godfathers of the marketing, direct marketing movement, his marketing was and is so brilliant because his marketing was so educational. If you read a sales letter from Jay Abraham, you learn something. During one of his courses, and I thought this is such a great example of a launch, he, uh, it was called his Mastermind Marketing Training. It was around the year 2000. It was a $5,000 US training uh, in LA, which I went to. And in his launch, he said, look, I'm going to be promoting this thing. I'm really excited about it sign up to be marketed to for this. Get on the email list because I'm only marketing if you join this email list. I promise you, you will get more real value, more profit producing, take home, money making uh, advice and content in this than you would get in most programs you paid for in the launch for free. And it was true every, every day. There was another email with a PDF from one of his colleagues or from himself. Uh, I still have some of them on my computer. I mean, it was phenomenally good the content he got so this being a generosity based business in the launch you're saying look instead of it just being a commercial followed by another commercial which is why people stop you know that's why netflix is doing so well fewer commercials saying let me be generous in in the sharing my perspective and point of view and examples in in the lead up and so uh, another example of that but not topic based but with my membership uh, Bradley and I talked about because he really helped me uh, design this launch. And the, the, we were wondering about how could we give them a taste, a genuine useful taste of um, what the membership would be like. So ideas we came up with that we did where I thought, well, you know, this membership is really to help people mm, get more rooted in my perspective on marketing. So I took my day long workshop, which I'd never done online and said, I'm going to do it online for the first time. Uh, I also did it on a pay which can basis. Uh, so anyone was able to attend. I did that. I did a, um, I said, well, you know, during the, in the membership, there'll be weekly uh, calls with me that people can get. So why not give them an example of one of those office hours calls? So I said, why don't you just call in and you'll get a taste of, you know, what is it like to work with this guy? Do you like it or not? You get a sense. Um, I did a, uh, I've done this a few times called Stump the Hippie. I said, you know, in the membership, you're going to have a chance to ask me a question. So on my Facebook page, here's the link to the post. It's called Stump the Hippie. Ask a question and I'll do it. And if 
I, I probably have a blog post and a video for it. But if you can ask something that I don't have a blog post or video for, you've stumped me and I promise I'll get you a response. So there was that, which of course then gives me good content to create uh, moving forward, even if I don't have something. Yeah, and let me just pause for a sec because I, I mean, you've shared so much good stuff already in, in this, in, you know, in the last 10 minutes. Uh, one of the things, um, it, yeah, it, it's like you've totally reframed what a launch can be for an audience. Usually people think, oh my God, someone is launching. That means I'm going to start getting a bunch of sales emails and kind of like, you better join if, unless you, you know, you're going to miss this deal or whatever it is, you better join, blah, blah, blah. Sure. And, um, but what you've done is to reframe it as what if this, what if the launch was actually something that the audience was looking forward to because they get so much value from the launch materials. And I think it's brilliant. And of course, you know, it's been done for, for 20 years plus. Um, and uh, so those of you who are thinking, well, like, wow, do I have to create a bunch of great, con well, you know, if you've been following along the kind of stuff that, that I've been talking about, you've been creating content yes. over the years, you could just take some of your best stuff from that topic and put it into the launch yes. and people now see it in one place or in one uh, several weeks or whatever. One question for you, how long, how many weeks do you recommend a typical launch to be? Or is there a range that you, you, you like to see? I mean, I think 30 days is fine, but you know, you can be, you can be seeding it. So for example, three months before you might just start teasing saying something's coming. Hey, I've got something big. I can't wait. I can't reveal it yet. You know, the, uh, I did that with not as I, I wish I'd done more of this, honestly, but with a mentorship, I said, because I was launching it on November 11th. So it was like 11, 11, I'm going to drop something big. So you could do that and, you know, even do a little boosted ad, on, you know, Facebook, just to build the hype and the, oh, what's coming. I don't know. I just think it's fun. And then, um, so you can be doing that in the lead up and then you could just start, you know, you could drop a video or, um, you know, saying, hey, I've got a thing and it's going to be loosely on this topic. I can't tell you too much, but, uh, you know, if you struggle with this issue, if you struggle with this problem or you're craving this result, I've got something coming for you. So you can be doing that. And then the, the official launch, you know, maybe 30 days before, but you can be telling people book off this date because let's say it's for a day long workshop or something. You can be three months before saying, look, I can't tell you why. Just book off this date. You'll be glad you did. I've got something that's dropping on that date, book it off. You can do that uh, well in advance. And uh, just, just to go back to what you said, George, 100%, all my, my launch with the hub marketing stuff, I was amazed. I had it all done. I had all the videos, all the blog posts. I have my ebook that's like 200 pages. I was able to go and cut and paste stuff from it, stuff I'd already done, but had never been laid out in that way. Um, so uh, sequentially, uh, you know, publicly in that, in a digestible way. And yes, they should, this is the goal. I don't know, do we ever achieve this or, but it's a, it's a good thing to aim for, that they would follow along your launch and at the end say, wow, that was so worth my attention. I got something really useful from that, from the launch itself, not from the course. Uh, you know, I remember, was it Charlotte Jacobs? who said it, or oh boy, I can't remember who said this, but somebody said, you know, if you're a holistic practitioner, their experience of being with you, let's say meeting you at a party, is what they think it will be like to work with you. So if you're trying to pitch them and sell them and get them to get a massage from you at the party, they kind of think that vibe, that pushy, aggressive, desperate vibe is what it will be like on the massage table or life coaching or therapy. But if you're a therapist and they sent your, you meet somebody, say, they say, what do you do? So I'm a therapist and you start talking. And in that conversation, you're really present. There's a lot of empathy and you're just asking good questions and there's no pressure. They think, boy, that felt good. Huh. And I've seen that happen and we've probably all received that. So it's yeah. with a launch. Yes. The experience that they get from you in the launch is what they think the thing will be like. Well, and in the case that what we do, it is aligned. There is integrity, you know, because in fact, the product, the kinds of products that you do offer are hugely aligned and an extension of all the value that you've been doing in the launch. Speaking of which, since we only have like three minutes left, 
this has been a good example okay. of a launch of <laughs> the, the launch of a, of a small course about a launch. Um, I want you to, yeah, I want you to invite people to this. So um, for all of you who are watching, um, Tad and Bradley are going to go into the details of this stuff in a step-by-step -step way. Um, Tad, you want to say, <laughs> give us a, yeah, preview yes. of that? Sure. So if you go to magicmedia.com slash presales dash magic. And I'll put the link below. Yeah. And I, by the way, I'm not affiliating for this. I'm not getting commissions for it just because we didn't have time to set it up. And I don't care because Tad's been so good to me over the years that this is a, one small thing I can do to help him. But I'm going to put the link below. Um, right. And I'll, yeah. So those of you who are watching this, there is a link below in the notes or in the comments or both. Uh, but yes, um, what, what, what's it about? What, what can people expect in that okay. day? So it's from 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. Pacific time, April 12th. Uh, we're going to be going over uh, how to craft a plan. You're going to get a templated uh, Excel spreadsheet example that you could use and customize for yourself. You're going to be getting a lot of ideas of the different types of things you could include in a launch. And you're going to get some time to actually get started on all of this. So there will be time to really sit down and do some exercises. So it won't just be a content dump, but a chance to actively begin to plan. I think by the end of the day, you should have a, uh, the, you know, the workings of a, of a rough start of something that you could actually take and use. So if you've got something coming up or that you've been thinking about that you'd like to really in advance start the thought process on, uh, this will be helpful. Plus, we're going to walk through a number of case studies, including more exactly and precisely what we did on my launch. Uh, and uh, Brad's going to walk through some of the other, uh, I think he his launches was at $500,000 last year it totaled but anyways wow. the launches went very well yeah um, and certainly I know a lot of those people it was the most money they'd ever made uh, from something so a well-constructed launch uh, can generate so much uh, income uh, very quickly and faster than than uh, most things that, that I know of man this is really exciting so um, I'm really grateful that you guys set up the the, the, the sort of the half day in a way that people are actually doing the planning right then and there so that's really nice yeah. the link is there in the in the notes below or the comments below the video tad thank you so much for showing up and sharing the stuff with us um, those of you who are watching if you um, have any kind of quick questions that tad might be able to answer um, feel free to comment below be sure to check out the link and tad i'm sure i'll see you again before long thank you so much for doing this thanks take care